Katsina State Governor Aminu Bello Masari wants security operatives in the state to intensify efforts to fight against armed banditry and kidnapping. Well, he made the call during a visit to some communities affected by the attacks. Well, our correspondent, Awal Ibrahim, has details. Kidnappings and frequent incidents of interstate banditry close to the border with Zamfara State has reached alarming proportions. This has prompted reports of kidnapping and attacks by bandits on some of the communities close to the border with Zamfara State. This prompted the Kazano State Governor to lead other members of his cabinet and heads of security agencies in the state to visit some of the affected areas. Four local government areas of Jibia, Bazari, Safana and Namusa were visited by Governor and his entourage. The vulnerability of the community not in doubt, helpless, and at the mercy of their attackers. We are grateful as we find time to visit us. We are also praying hard for normalcy to return. For the governor, closer cooperation with security agencies will help the drive to keep every citizen safe. All their movements are known by the locals. But what we need to do is to assure the informant that when they are safe, secondly, that if the people are arrested, are not related on any uh, excuse that when they go back, they will tell them, what well, you have reported us, they have arrested us, and now we are back. The governor went to this community in Shinfada, in Jibia local council. He made a number of promises. One of them, the much needed road construction and power generation to enhance the safety of communities. It's a great pleasure that our governor is in our midst today, contrary to the impression that no governor can ever find time. The chief of air staff, who is also on a walking visit to the state, unveiled plans by the Air Force to boost its operations in the Brunongwari axis of Kaduna State. The Nigerian Air Force is working hard to deploy more assets to the Brunongwari area particularly, so that if there are issues from here, these guys, these criminals move to the Brunongwari axis, they will also find our helicopters there. We are planning to deploy additional fuel facility in the Brunongwari. With insurgency on the rise and government battling to keep the homeland safe, today's visit to distressed communities may be yet another photo opportunity, but the real test lies on how willing government is at all levels to curb banditry and the growing number of insurgent groups that have continued to threaten the lives of innocent citizens and sometimes resulting in their deaths. Awal Ibrahim, TVC News, Kasana.